Look at the size of that rainbow. There he goes. What's up everybody, Fish Hawk here. Today we're gonna to be fishing this tiny stream. I'm gonna be using this Helgramite. This Helgramite is made by Nico Bates, N-I-K-K-O. I'm gonna leave their information in the description below so you guys can check them out if you want, but they make all kinds of different soft plastic little creature baits. They're made in Japan. Uh, this is the Helgramite and this is the one I'm starting out with, but they also make tadpoles, fly larvae, octopus, all kinds of little things. So you guys check them out. Uh, we're gonna see if we can catch some fish in this tiny creek. Stay tuned. Just had my first hit. Looked like a little sunfish. You couldn't get it all. That's a good sign. There's fish in here, and uh, apparently they like it a little bit. Getting down here to a little deeper water should hold some fish. This is a three-inch helgramite, so oh my god, that was a huge fish. I don't know what that was. I think it was a trout. Looked like a brook trout. Ah, all right. I got a plan. I have some other baits in here from Nico that I wanna I'm gonna try out and show you guys. So I might switch baits to something a little smaller so that they can get get this bait in their mouth. Something like this right here might be good. If I have a small enough hook, this might be the ticket. These look pretty good. Look like they'd be good for trout or you know some small sunfish. Here's what I'm rocking with. I'm not really sure uh, exactly what this one's called. But I have it on. This is actually an ice jig, an ice fishing jig that I put it on. Give it a little weight. That thing looks pretty good. That was a three inch Helgramite. So when you're fishing tiny creeks like this, it is kind of difficult to hook some of these fish when you're using a three inch bait and a, and a wide gap worm hook. So we're going to downsize here and see if we can get this booger now. Fish on, just like that. Just a little feller. There's another one. This is only four pound test. This is my five foot six ultra light rod. So even these little fellers feel pretty fun. Now if we can keep the sunfish away from this bait, see if we can catch a, a bass or something different. I swear that was a trout that tried to eat my Helgramite a little bit ago. Well, we didn't hook the uh, hook the fish that missed that Helgramite. It was a big, long fish. It kind of looked like a trout to me, but did catch a few little little sunfish. All right, let's move on down to a new spot. Oh my God, I've got a freaking trout. Stay pinned, stay pinned. All right, I gotta wet my hands real quick. Beautiful rainbow trout on the Nico. There he goes, man, what a fight. All I'm really doing with this bait is casting it out and I'm just reeling it back in and kind of jigging my rod tip, giving it a little action but nothing special. Just kind of reeling it back in, trying to keep it off the bottom because I don't want to get hung up with that exposed hook. Fish on. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's another little sunfish. But she's about to blow. Look at that. Look at the belly. Look at the belly. That's insane. It's crazy. Oh my God, what a big trout. Look at that beautiful trout. I 
and I just fell in to get this trout back in the water. I just fell in trying to release that fish. Crap. Oh my god. That freaking sucked. I don't know what I was thinking. That's just a huge pile of leaves right there. It's been washed washed down here and it's, as soon as you step in it, you get right through them. I don't know what I was thinking. I was trying to get that trout back in the water. I fished the creek all the way till it dumps in the lake. Now I'm going to fish my way back up to my truck, up the creek, and uh, maybe we can pick up another fish or two and call it a day. Oh my God. I got a massive trout one, guys. That is a huge rainbow, oh my God. I gotta wet my hands. That is an absolute monster. Holy crap. In this tiny little creek, look at that. Look at the size of that rainbow. He's gonna go right under that grass and just hide. So I'll show you guys what I did there. This whole bank right here has vegetation and bushes and stuff hanging out over the edge. Those fish are tucked under uh, that vegetation and the bushes and stuff that's uh, out over the edge of the water. So A, it provides shade. B, it provides a hiding spot and cover for the fish. So I mean, it just makes sense that they're gonna be tucked up under that stuff because they're not gonna be out here in the open where they can get ate by a bird or some other kind of predator. So they're gonna be hiding. So when you see spots like that, make sure you try to get your lure in there as close as you can. Oh, there's a big trout. I just saw him. He chased it. I got him to chase it again. I'm gonna keep messing with him until he bites it. Got him that time. Lord, that is a massive rainbow. Look at the size of that rainbow. Good Lord. Come on, buddy. You can do it. There he goes. I've got another boot full of water. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, the one that got away. First one I've lost all day. That was a freaking tank. Hiding right under those bushes, just like the last couple. That's why I said get that thing as close as you can. And I just kept tossing it in there over and over and over, trying to get it as close as I could. I saw him come out once and swipe at it, so I, I knew there was a fish in there, so I just kept tossing it in there over and over and over. And finally he bit. But I lost him at the bank. No big deal. Caught a lot of fish today. All the fish I've caught has been on this same soft plastic. And it's still going strong. These things last a really long time. But I think I'm gonna end it on that note. That's gonna do it for today. Had an awesome day at this tiny creek. Caught a lot of nice fish. Had a blast fighting those rainbow trout in this tiny creek. They put up a great fight. I was using my five foot six ultralight rod, four pound test line, little Akuma reel. And uh, right there's the, the bait that I was using, a Nico. 
I'm not 100% sure what this one is called, but I was using it on an ice jig, just a little weighted jig. And that's the same soft plastic that I caught all those fish on today. Very durable, lasts a long time. You can catch a ton of fish on just one. But um, this right here is what the pack looks like that they come in. And no, I cannot read that. So, But they're made in Japan, I believe, and uh, all the information is going to be in my description. So if you're interested in them, just want to check them out, make sure you click the link in my description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Fish Hulk out.